We are going down a trip. <laughs> Wait. So, best friends in the whole wide world. I was doing some cleaning today. And then I got a little sidetracked. <laughs> Putting away all my summer clothes and taking out my winter clothes. And then I found a photo album and I wanted to share some things with you guys. This is the gem. <laughs> I've looked at it just a little bit, but I want to show you guys some pictures that I thought are so funny and kind of tell you a little bit about the background of that time and what was happening and what was I thinking and what was I wearing? I used to think back in the day that I was so cool. Like all my outfits were on point and I was the coolest girl on the block and no one can tell me anything. And looking back, <laughs> there might be some cameos of other family members, but I'll try to keep it more of myself. Just because it's embarrassing, not because I'm into myself. <laughs> so let's start off with high school. No, wait, wait, let's go back. This was middle school. This was the girl squad, girl power. You know how it is. I'm one in the blue. So let me see if you guys can see this. This is me right here. This was the whole posse. This is the girl that everybody wanted to be friends with. And so did I. <laughs> she was the coolest girl on the block. As you guys can see, what was I? I don't even know, guys. If there's one thing I know about my whole childhood is that I would wear sweaters everywhere. Ask anyone in my family. <laughs> I lived in Vegas and it is like 140 degrees outside and I would wear a sweater and then I went to California and it had nice weather and I still wore a sweater. I was always wearing sweaters. I don't think I like my arms or something like that. But yeah, so let's keep going. That was it. In the light of Christmas almost around the corner. This is me. Oh, this was like a dark one. Okay. Let me show you this one. Apparently, one of my siblings is tired and I like colorful things. As you can see from this, let it, okay, here I am. Look at this colorful skirt. The tree. My mom has always loved to celebrate anything, so we go all out. But look at that skirt, guys. Let me tell you. If you didn't know by now, I am still a super colorful person. I love color everywhere. I think it stems from my mom, now that I know. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. I want to show you guys like, the most embarrassing pictures I have. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a backstory to this picture. I so I think it's Mexican tradition, but I'm not too sure of when you're three years old, you take pictures and they do this big party. And so I was, I didn't get the chance to have those pictures. So let's go forward. I'm five years old and my mom's really oppressed about me having these pictures. My mom is all things photography in not the sense that she's a photographer but she loves pictures <laughs> she loves memories and she loves to celebrate so here i am five years old this dress does not fit me i am clearly angry <laughs> and i love that my mom had this idea to put this curtain <laughs> it didn't work out because you could still see everything but here is the final product I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, so you can see my face. 
see that I was just not having it. I remember she took like a hundred of these pictures and then I was not trying to fit into this dress any longer. <laughs> so shout out to the, all the Latino moms out there. Love you guys and what you do for your kids. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. So uh, this is the moment of truth, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to take you back. I'm back in seventh grade. There was this boy that I just apparently loved. This was going to be my future husband. It's creepy now, but <laughs> at the time he was a cool eighth grader and I was just trying to do everything to get his attention. At the end, it did not work out. He kind of broke my heart, but it's okay. <laughs> so this, and it's good that this picture is dark because then you don't know who it is. But if he ever watches this, he know who he is. <laughs> I remember I was like, hey, let's take a picture because I won't ever see you again. He was going into high school. And well, I have the memories. This. Okay. Let me tell you a little story about my prom night. So, this was prom night, senior year. I was in a new school. I had known the students. I had gone there for my junior and my senior year. And no one had asked me to prom. <laughs> I was so embarrassed. So I, there was this guy in one of my classes and I said, hey, are you going? He said, I gotta have a date. And I'm like, neither do I, let's go. And then he was so excited and he's like, hey, let's get a limo and let's go together. The thing was that I didn't even wanna go with him in the first place. I know, don't do this to people. It's just not right. <laughs> so I said, no, you know what? I'm going to get my brother's sports car. He has a 350Z. I'm going to go pick up my best friend. We're going to roll up and I'll see you there. <laughs> he wasn't happy, but it's okay. And I wanted to show you the dress. So the dress, I went all the way to another state to find this dress. The whole outfit, mom helped me out. I thought I was looking cool. I did my hair. And <laughs> oh my gosh, looking back. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I think the only thing I love about this outfit is my pink nails, but that's about it. It is not. Let me see if you can see it. See, guys? I thought I was all cool, you know. Let me get this bomb dress. Your girl don't even... Your girl wasn't even asked, but... <laughs> that was that night. I'm going to show you my date. Because, you know, <laughs> I still I got to give him a shout out. This was him. And he was a very nice guy. Very nice guy. Let's keep it moving. I feel like I'm, <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Then after that, after prom night, we went to the Cheesecake Factory. And I went with some good friends. And then I just took more pictures. Anyone ever take mirror pictures? Maybe this was past generations, but this was before Instagram, and this was before iPhones, and this was before anything. We had mirror pictures. Does anyone remember these? <laughs> Let me see. Give me a my cool camera. I remember I would always tell my little brother, <laughs> more like force him to take pictures with me. So guys, this was before iPhones. This is what we had to do. There was no good lighting, no such thing as good lighting. And you had to go and take your film to be developed at another place. And it took time. You couldn't see your pictures for one or two weeks. And that was life before. I know, so harsh. But that was all for today's album. I love you guys so much. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next video.